Yeah, yeah, no, I'm so looking forward to it. We've, I think everyone, whether you're a manager, player, supporter, media, I think everyone was really looking forward to to yesterday and and the start of it all. Of course, it's, you know, I've heard chats since last night saying it's not the same. Well, of course, it's never going to be the same without supporters. However, it's making the best of the situation that we're in, you know, unprecedented times and exceptional circumstances. But uh but like you seen the two games last night, they were played at good tempo and good intensity. And uh, yeah, I think we're all delighted to be able to get back to playing again. Yeah, well, a little bit of both, just to see uh, to see what it was like. And listen, I understand how TV and everyone were trying to enhance the experience. So I, I get all of that. Um, so uh, and obviously, I'd listen to it with but with no crowd as well. So, um, but my focus was primarily on the on the football. I thought that, uh, like what I seen in the German football when I watched some of that, you know, I thought the players, uh, you know, great credit to them. You know, like last night, the, the focus was there to to win the game, and and very quickly you realise that there's no crowd, so you you get on. We we're trying to impose your game and and set your own standard, and uh, and that's what all the teams done, and and I think that's what we'll see over the. Over the remaining games, you know, it's a great opportunity, I think, for you to to show your your internal standard in terms of how you work on a daily basis, and and then look to take that into the games. But no, we 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 still anticipate and, and preparing for a tough game. Um, listen, I know I haven't been the manager at Watford. I know what Vicarage Road brings, in particular when the supporters are there. Um, but. Okay, the game might have changed in the in the stands, but it, it it won't change on the pitch. It's still going to be a tough game for us. You know, they they have got good players. Uh, they're in a position where they're fighting like ourselves for every result. Okay, maybe for a different purpose, but uh, they'll want to to get back to to playing well and getting results and similar to ourselves. You know, but I think for us it, it's important. We of course we want to win, but uh, but we go into the game. Anticipating like we did back then, that it will be a tough game for us, and uh, that's what we're preparing for. You know, it's really, really unfortunate for Sheffield United uh, that of all the cameras you have in a in a football stadium and all uh, the, the modern technology that is in place, that it couldn't recognise that it was a goal, even though probably visually sometimes you can actually see in the game that it's a goal. So, so for Chris and Sheffield United, it was uh, it was very unfortunate. I think it's listen, it, it's. These types of things can happen. I think what will hopefully come from it is that what is the next scenario if something like that happens again? You know, do you need someone else in the stand to to ratify and uh, and, and obviously support if something like that happens? So, uh, so I'm sure that will be the case. Like they said afterwards, it was the first time that it uh, had broken down. I think for Michael, you know, he was in an impossible position because one, if he can't see that it's a goal. Uh, and his watch doesn't tell him that it's a goal, then it's very difficult for him to give up if he hasn't seen it. So, uh, so yeah, just one of those really, really unfortunate circumstances, which, of course, if you're, you're Chris and Sheffield United, you'd be bitterly disappointed with. But I don't think any team will be right at the, the top level in the first game. Um, I think you see Man City play very well last night, but just purely because of fitness and uh, and, and the length of time we've had to prepare, but uh, but that that's you have to adapt to that. You know, we, we've spoken about it before. We we may we may not be our best, um, but as long as we're giving our best and 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 thinking about performance. Of course, this is a period of the season where it's about winning, but our philosophy has always been about performing. You know that you, you won't be ten out of ten every single game, but but for us, it's about about performing well playing how we've played and, uh, and and more times than not we, it gives us a great opportunity to win so um, so yeah you can't afford to to be too slow in your start but uh, but I think from a fitness perspective and probably the the the, the synchronization of teams haven't been out for so long uh, may just take a little bit of time but um, but it's the same for everyone